Hi and welcome to Basement Projects. I bought these small carbide boring bars from Banggood because I needed them for a project and because I wanted them. Those are the 3 and 4 mm versions. My first impression is quite satisfying. Grind, coating and shape are looking really nice. But I needed a boring bar holder to fit these in my tool holders. In this video I will make these holders out of stainless steel. I prefer stainless because it looks nice and won't corrode in my basement. Indicating this piece of square stock took me quite a while. But this step is important if you want a good result. First the back side of the boring bar holder gets machined flat. The edges get the chamfer just for the looks. The finish is done with a piece of 320 grit sandpaper. The front side will be done in the same way. Starting the pilot hole and drilling it to 3.8 mm. For the final diameter I'm using a 4 mm reamer. This will produce a nice round hole and a good fit for the boring bar shaft. I decided to put a bigger chamfer on the front end. My lathe couldn't machine it all at once, so I'm taking steps until the chamfer is finished. Deburring the hole and some sandpaper for the finish. Two 3.3 mm holes are drilled on my drill press. It's important to hit the middle of the square stock, otherwise your holes won't line up. A cordless drill is used for threading the M4 holes into the holder. The torque adjustment makes it easier for me not to break a tab and it's faster and more comfortable. A little bit of deburring after threading and the reamer will be used to clean up the hole for the boring bar. After a quick cleaning it's time to assemble the parts. M4 grub screws will hold the boring bar in place. The material is also stainless steel. Time to place the boring bar holder into the tool holder and get a good look at the final result. Of course I needed a second holder for the other boring bar. This should be the end of this project, but even before trying them out I wanted to modify them. The shaft of the boring bars needed a little more relief to achieve a greater boring depth. Not the best idea to reduce the material and increase the stick out on this small boring bars. But sometimes you just need a few millimeter extra and I wanted to have them.
Time for a test run. This is a tougher stainless steel tube. The alloy is 1.4301. This material is common when I'm doing lathe work, so it's a good way to test these boring bars. Both boring bars seems to work just fine, but I will order a few more. Out of experience I know that I will break them sooner or later. That's it for today. Bye and thanks for watching.